Hi John, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. So if we draw a line here on the toe of the club, we're going to see here as you take the club away, the club goes away from you. And that's just the start of where things go a little bit wrong. Set's great, but the hands are a little bit in front. And then from here, I know you're wearing a black jumper, but we're going to really notice this right elbow is rising. And we can see at the top of the swing where it points. One, the club head is pointing a long, long way to the right. And two, this elbow is, is pointing in that direction like so. Where if we look at this chap here on the right, you'll see he keeps that right elbow nicely tucked as he goes to the top of his swing. One, the club head worked inwards and up. And then look at the top here. Look at where this elbow points in a hugely different position. And the left arm, the club points down the left side. So we just needed a feel. If you tuck that right elbow in or squeeze between the forearms, that gets the club pointing in the right position. And then if we look at this chap here on the right, because his shaft's what I'd call already in a shallow position here, he hasn't got to compensate too much coming down. You know, when he comes down to what I'd call the delivery spot there, we can see it's almost the same plane or it's on the same line. Well, with you, you know, as you start down, I mean, look how much it's got to change. Now it's vertical, the shaft. OK, I think it's got to try and shallow again and you do a good job with it. But it's, it's changed. Look at the angles. The lines are all over the place. So it's just too difficult to repeat. So we want to work on getting them at club in a little bit of a better position. And we did that by really just squeezing that elbow together. And then with the driver, we really need to feel that we're going to stay a little bit more on this right side for impact. So we're trying to hit up on the ball a little bit more. Um, and, and just feeling our weight's not moving forwards as early in the downswing. You tend to sort of lean on that left leg too early where I'm trying to get you to feel like you're trying to launch the ball extremely high up into the sky for me. And then the last bit of work you needed to work on was just that club face. It just wants to rotate sometimes a little bit too much. So we practice with a stick down the butt of the club just for 20-yard shots, just trying to feel that the uh, the face doesn't rotate as much. If you lose the feeling of that, come and get me because that's quite simple to give you that uh, feeling again and it'll really help you chip in, John. But uh, it will just stop that club face closing as much as it currently is. Uh, so work on that for me. So use the ball for the backswing, gets the club on the way down in a good position. And then from there, just try and stay on your weight a little bit more on your right side, coming into impact. And then uh, you can just quieten that hand release down and make a big difference. Like this guy here on the right, really quiet hands, turns over it. Great full release, lovely clearance where yourself, you're just a bit stuck there. And we can see you sort of have that hold off finish there, John. So work on that. It won't take too long and uh, you'll see some great improvements. Thank you.